we have another device which is called as frequency multiplier in this the same phenomena will happen except the fact that just uh, shifting of this frequency from omega c to omega i will not be there uh, the frequency content in mt will also be changed relative to this cos omega ct right so now that process is called as frequency multiplication and we have already done this i am just giving you a brief uh, revision of that carrier frequency as well as frequency deviation are multiplied right so we have already done this in the video on this nbfm and wf wbfm where if you, if you have a system yt which is a non linear combination of these things a not a1 xt a2 x square t so you see here there are various non linear signals it is not necessary that you have this polynomial equation to implement non linearity you can have other non linear equations also but then again uh, for purposes of illustration let us say that we have a non linear system whose output is yt and is a combination of signal xt x square t up to xnt so this is nth order non linear system and uh, if the input xt happens to be a frequency modulated signal if xt is equal to a cos omega ct plus kf integration m alpha d alpha then on simplifying this we have already uh, seen that your signal will be cos of omega ct kf integration mt d alpha this is the original signal and then you will also receive the signal at twice of omega ct and the frequency deviation as you can see here is also multiplied by 2 similarly you will also receive the signal at nth frequency n omega ct and the frequency deviation as you see here is multiplied by n also so what happen what happens after applying this process you have the system and you have this signal which is uh, frequency modulated in our case and if it is it passes through this signal you get all of these terms means the spectrum is shifted to frequency omega c to twice of omega c thrice of omega c etc and also relative to the carrier that is omega c twice of omega c thrice of omega c you can also see that the uh, the delta f's value that is the frequency deviation's value has also changed that means related to the carrier your signal which was around it the message signal which was around it has also broadened its area of spread right so we will see an example of this in coding right so these two are very useful devices while we will understand the practical fm uh, generator circuit so they will be used there and then now for generating nbfm we have this very simple arrangement what we do is we use a double side band uh, suppressed carrier modulator here and uh, uh, you apply a signal which is message signal integrate it you will get at and instead of taking the carrier as a cos omega ct you shift the phase by minus pi by 2 and hence you will get a signal minus a kf at sin omega ct and you add the original carrier here so nbfm will be simply a cos omega ct minus a kf at sin omega ct so we know that this is the equation of uh, nbfm so we can get nbfm just by using a double side band suppressed carrier modulator now there are various questions which arises in one's mind after having this picture of nbfm first question is this is amplitude modulation scheme means dsbsc modulation is essentially amplitude modulation one of the variants of amplitude modulation so whatever we generate means you apply your message signal in any form and you use your carrier in any form ultimately you should get a amplitude modulated signal here uh, then how will it be treated as a frequency modulated signal we have done some discussion in the previous video that uh, by using this scheme nbfm can be generated because an approximated version of nbfm which is the summation of these two terms can be generated but is it truly a frequency modulation or is it a uh, amplitude modulation it is definitely frequency modulation but it is linear in nature frequency modulation is in general exponential in nature it's not linear but by this method the frequency modulation that we generate is linear in nature it's still not amplitude modulation it is frequency modulation itself now let us come to another part if you want to generate wbfm that is wide band frequency modulated signal so you simply apply this nbfm generator which is this complete circuit you have got nbfm here and you apply a frequency multiplier here so on applying a frequency multiplier you can see that you can have your frequency shifted to any value you want and correspondingly your frequency deviation will also be increased now after having this picture in mind there are various doubts 
first is how do we separate this uh, suppose i want my frequency modulated wave to be at twice of omega c so essentially we will use a band pass filter that's very simple but now one thing is nbfm generates a linearly modulated signal which is generated from an amplitude modulation scheme so uh, in this there is no frequency deviation means in this it is perceived that there will be no frequency deviation because it is generated through a linear modulation scheme but this is not true actually we will see in coding that uh, the, the deviation of signal from this amplitude modulated signal means we will generate first a dsbsc signal and we will generate an nbfm signal and we will compare their time domain pictures and we will see that uh, the pictures that there is some difference between these two linear modulation schemes and how a narrow band frequency modulated signal which is linear in nature but it is still not amplitude modulated will show some frequency deviation when it is used in frequency multiplier the third thing is when this frequency multiplier is applied suppose i have got nbfm and i want the frequency to be shifted to some higher frequency so that it becomes wbfm i want my carrier frequency to be changed that's okay it can be done by using a frequency multiplier but then this frequency deviation will also change right and suppose i want the carrier to be twice of omega c but i do not want this frequency deviation to change or i want frequency deviation to become thrice of uh, this value so in that case there is no arrangement uh, for doing that by using this method or by using this method so a combination of these two methods has to be used